is Miss Christina, and I work at the main branch of the Louisville Free Public Library. You may have seen me do story time at the branch, or you might have seen me on the bookmobile because I'm one of the staff members who gets to drive it. Today, we are doing a baby story time. So if you've never attended a baby story time, it's intended for ages zero to two, but it's enjoyable for most kids. Are you ready to get started? All right. Our first song is, Hi, Hello, How Are You? And there are three signs that go along with it. So let's wiggle our fingers and get them ready. Are you all ready? All right. Our first sign is, Hello. Our second sign is, how are you? And our third sign is today, which is Y hands, and then bring it down. And our song goes like, Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? So our first book today is called Baby Faces Peekaboo. I love doing this book because I love playing peekaboo with babies and babies love looking at other babies. And this book is written by Don Shuret and published with permission from DK Publishing. So let's get started. Here is Happy Doll. But where is Happy Baby? Is he behind the blocks? Let's see. <gasps> Peekaboo, there's a happy baby. Let's make a happy smiley face too. Parents, can you make a happy smiley face with me for your babies? <gasps> Here is Grumpy Tiger. But where's the grumpy baby? Is he under the blanket? Let's see. And this is a blue blanket. <gasps> Peekaboo! Oh. And let's make a grumpy face too. Oh, that was too grumpy. Here is Silly Monkey. But where's the silly baby? Is she under the hat? Let's open the yellow hat. <gasps> Peekaboo! Let's make a funny, silly face too. Can you all make a silly face with me? Go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Here is Sleepy Bunny. <gasps> but where's Sleepy Baby? Is she behind the mobile? Let's see. So there's stars on this mobile and a rocket ship. Let's see what's behind there. <gasps> oh, Peekaboo, let's make a tired, sleepy face too. <gasps> so here is our happy doll and our grumpy tiger and our silly monkey and our sleepy buddy right here. And parents, you can get a mirror and let your babies look in their reflection so they can see their expression and yours. Our next song is gonna be a baby bounce. So parents and caregivers, grab your baby if they wanna be grabbed and put them on your lap and let's bounce. So we have an ice cream cone over here and a lemon slice and a hot dog. And they represent each part of our bounce. So the first part goes, you be the ice cream, I'll be the freezer. And give your baby a shivery hug. Oh, cause it's so cold. And the second one goes, you be the lemon, I'll be the squeezer. And squeeze your baby. And the third one goes, you be the hot, dog, I'll be the bun. Turn your baby lengthwise and give them a good squeeze this way. And the end is you be the baby and we'll have some fun and give your baby a kiss on the head. So let's put it all together. 
You be the ice cream and I'll be the freezer. And go shiver. You be the lemon, I'll be the squeezer. Give him a big squeeze. You be the hot dog, I'll be the bun. Ooh. And you be the baby, and we'll have some fun. Aw. Give your babies a good squeeze and then release them if they want to be released because we know how that goes. Our next book is Old MacDonald by Jessica Suhami. This is a lift the flat book. Are you ready to sing with me? It goes, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, can you guess what it is? It's a <gasps> duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a, do you guys know what kind of noise a duck makes? That's right. It's a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a, do you think it's a baby? No, it's a, a pig. E-I-E-I-O with a oink oink here and an oink oink there here an oink there an oink everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Ooh, and look, Old MacDonald is in a truck and do you see that right there? What kind of animal do you think that belongs to? Hmm, we'll see in a second. And on that farm he had a, a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <gasps> and now Old MacDonald is in an airplane. I don't think he's on a farm anymore, do you? Hmm. Well, the book says he is, so. And on that farm he had a, <gasps> a cow. E-I-E-I-O. Can you do your best move for me? Do it, do it right now. Oh, you did such a good job. So let's sing. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald is in a rocket ship. What could he find in a rocket ship? Hmm. And on that farm he had a Martian. Oh my goodness, look at how silly that Martian is. And our Martian makes a very special noise. He goes beep, beep. All right, so let's sing this page again. And on that farm he had a Martian. E-I-E-I-O with a beep beep here and a beep beep there. Here a beep, there a beep, everywhere a beep beep. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. You did such a good job seeing that. Good job. So today we are going to make Play-Doh, and it's edible Play-Doh, which is perfect for babies. I actually got this recipe out of 150 screen-free activities for kids. It's by Asia Citro, and we have several copies in the library. So if you want to check out this book, you can find it on our catalog um, just by searching 150 screen-free activities. 
All right, so let's get started. This is a very simple recipe. It's only four ingredients. So we have cereal, we have cornstarch, we have applesauce and vegetable oil. So we're gonna take one cup rice cereal. We're gonna take one cup cornstarch and just kind of stir that together, get our dry ingredients all mixed up. We're gonna take three tablespoons vegetable oil, dump that right on in there. And then we're gonna take one pouch of applesauce. It's about four ounces, which is what her recipe calls for. And we're just gonna squeeze that in there. So what I really love about this recipe is it is super customizable. You can use things that you have at home. Ah. So squeeze that right on in there. So I actually had rice cereal and applesauce and cornstarch and vegetable oil in my house. Um, but if your baby doesn't like rice cereal, um, you can always crush up Cheerios because that works really, really well. Um, or if your baby is not a fan of applesauce, they like pureed bananas, um, that is total, totally usable. So we just kind of mush it all together. And this came out a little dry, so I'm gonna add a little more vegetable oil. And it all just sort of comes together. And take your hands, mush it together. You have to knead it like you knead biscuits. So just knead it. And actually, this is a really fun activity if you have older kids. Um, they get to stick their hands in something gross and just mush it all together. So just knead it and it just comes together. It's wonderful. So we're just gonna keep kneading this for a few minutes. And while you all are doing that, I'll show you our end product. So I actually made this two days ago and it came together beautifully. Um, this has actually been in the fridge in a sealed container, which is how you're supposed to store homemade Play-Doh. And see, it just kind of crumbles. And this is actually great for little hands. It helps them build dexterity and it's super fun to play with, honestly. So once you finish kneading that, it will look like this and you can just hand it to your baby. Um, the great part about this, like I said, is it's edible. So if your baby happens to stick a chunk of it in their mouth, like babies do, um, it's, it'll be totally fine because it's all food and it's all food that they like. So enjoy. Thank you for joining me for Baby Story Time. I hope you had a wonderful time. Our next song is our very last one, and it is Story Time is Over. So there are four signs to go along with this song. The first one is book, which we're gonna say for story. And then our second sign is time. So we're gonna say story time. The next sign is over, all done. The sign after that is next. So we're gonna put one hand in front of the other, and then we're gonna end with the sign for time again. So let's sing story time is over. Are you ready? All right. Story time is over, is over, is over. Story time is over. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye. <laughs>